something's up with Victor and Oz, and I'm kind of worried about where it's going. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Thanks for stopping by, and special shout out to all of our new subscribers. Love talking Penguin with you. The world wasn't built for guys like us. Your support means a lot to me, so thank you very much. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We talk Penguin here all the time. This We love this show here. I love the show, and I love talking about it, and I love hearing what you guys have to say about the Penguin in the comments down below. I read and reply to all of them, and I love hearing what you have to say. So much great insights on this show and opinions. It's absolutely wonderful to see today. I want to talk about because episode six, Gold Rush, is coming. It's coming fast, and I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm going to have a preview show coming out. To take him back, got them talking about the trailer what to expect going forward but one thing i wanted to talk about today because i have the video on is victor victor zaz a lot of people are speculating that victor could be victor zaz like it's a cool theory and it holds some water it does hold some water it's not completely out there as some people are thinking uh, but i don't think that's necessarily going to be the case with victor in this series i think victor's heading down a different path as you as anyone who's been here knows i think victor is penguins jason todd i think he's going more down a jason todd route i did think he was going to die at the hands of sophia falcone gigante i have another video i'm working on about that coming up but in this one i think there is a huge possibility that he's going to meet his demise in another way a more tragic way and not just a tragic way for victor but a tragic way for Oz Cobb himself, the Penguin, because we're seeing the Penguin's rise to power, the rise to becoming the Penguin villain that we all know and love from the Batman, right? We see him in the Batman. Am I the only one here knows the difference between Al and Law? And he's not quite main antagonist material yet, right? He is a sub-character in Carmine Falcone's story. And now we're going like, when are we going to get to his story? And you know, there's all the theories like Court of Owls, Mr. Freeze, but what if Penguin is the big bad of Batman too? That I think is something to explore for another day because this show could be elevating him to that level, right? We, I mean, he's getting there. He's he's going to take back Gotham. He says that in this trailer. To take him back Gotham. So all that being said, how do you get from Oz, like a violent Oz, obviously he's not a good person, clearly, but how do you get from this Oz to the Oz Penguin that's going to become a main threat, a challenge for the Batman. To get there, I want to do a little bit of a backstory on Jason Todd and his story. Jason Todd first met Batman in Batman number 357 in 1983. His origin would later be reimagined in Batman number 408 in 1987 following Crisis on Infinite Earths. In the original version, Jason was the son of acrobats who, like Dick Grayson, lost his parents to a criminal act. However, after the character was reworked, he gained a rougher, edgier backstory. This time, he was a street kid who stole the tires off the Batmobile. Rather than being intimidated by the Dark Knight, Jason confronted Batman with fierce bravery, sparking Bruce Wayne's curiosity and respect. Batman quickly saw the potential in Jason's audacity and resourcefulness. After learning more about the young boy's difficult life, living on his own and struggling to survive, Bruce made life-changing decision to take Jason in and train him as the new Robin. Not too dissimilar from what we get from Victor, stealing the rims and all of that, and then Penguin taking him in. He learned about his family, his his past family, the family that he's lost, how he's kind of an orphan now, and his girlfriend. He, like Oz knows a lot about this, and he still takes him in. And Oz, not only that, Oz trusts him with some deep information. He trusts him with his mother's life, and his mother means the world to Oz. And he trusts him with the story of Rex Calabresi, which is something he tells to his closest confidants. We know he told, he told the story to Alberto Falcone, and he shot Alberto dead. Spoilers if you haven't seen the first episode. And he told that to Victor, and Victor was right on board with this Rex Calabresi character. He understood where Penguin's coming from. He And Penguin is aspiring to be Rex, and Victor appreciates and respects that. I own you. The death of Jason begins with Jason discovering that his biological mother might still be alive, sending him on a dangerous journey to the Middle East to find her. Tragically, he is led into a trap orchestrated by none other than the Joker. In a brutal turn of events, the Joker captures Jason and his mother, savagely beating Jason with a crowbar before leaving both of them in a warehouse rigged with explosives. And of course, you could call in and vote, and people voted death. It was a very, it was a tight race. But death was chosen and Jason Todd died. Obviously, he comes back as the Red Hood. What do you think? I hire any schmuck off the street? No. But what does this have to do with Victor? I've been thinking a lot about Victor. I don't think Victor's going to make it out of here alive. I want to get that right out of the way. 
I don't think he's making it out of this series alive. I like Victor. I would love this character to go along a long way, be in the Batman 2 for whatever reason, but I don't see Victor coming out of this series alive. So does he die at the hands of Sophia or does he die at the hands of somebody else? For Sophia, we know that she has the picture of Eve. Don't fucking touch her! You know, you can start to speculate that something's going to go down there with her and Eve because Eve stays behind. She doesn't go to Crown's Point with Penguin and Victor and, their mo and his mom. So where does that leave? I, you know, one hand that could be a red herring. I'll talk about that on another video. But on the other hand, maybe she does do something to Eve. And I think if Sophia does happen to kill Eve, which would be weird because they put that in the mid-season trailer and we see a little bit of it in the Gold Rush trailer now. I think it's weird if Sophia actually ends up killing Eve because it, I feel like it's a red herring. Like Eve's not going to be the one that dies. While Eve is being saved, I think Vic might bite the bullet. But in this video... What if we say that Eve actually something does horrible happen to Eve? But in this video, I want to talk more about Victor and Penguin and their relationship. As I said, Penguin trusts Victor with his life or with his mother's life. His mother, though, suffers from dementia. We really get a glimpse of that when she's with alone with Victor in episode five. And we see their dynamic. And you can see that there's something a little bit off the way she's feeling about Victor. She doesn't completely trust Victor. Penguin does but she doesn't. So the question is, how long is Oz going to trust Vic for? And how long is Vic going to trust Oz? One interesting aspect of episode five was Squid. When they get to Crown's Point, you see that Squid's there. They're setting up a little bit of the gang sections like they do in No Man's Land, which is another video I'm working on because No Man's Land is coming, I think. But we see Squid and how he tries to avoid him. And I think a lot of people were all speculating that Squid is going to rat him out at some point. When that is, we don't know. IMDb is suggesting that Squid is in two episodes. You take that with a grain of salt, you can go in and edit IMDb. I am on IMDb. You can check me out. But I think a lot of us are speculating that Squid will have something to do with Penguin and his mom and Victor and their penthouse being found, right? The, the, the suite that overlooks the zoo being found. And the Squid is going gonna, gonna to come back on Squid. Squid obviously knows Vic. Penguin is going to put two and two together. He might think because of Victor, Victor had something to do with Squid, either uh, maybe having to maybe killing penguin's mom or attacking them even if penguin's mom doesn't die there's still the threat that squid found them and assaulted them or whatever that could happen right so penguin could take that on a vic and blame victor for that and the trust on victor could slowly d diminish as it goes on and eventually penguin has no choice but to brutally murder victor which would complete his villain arc it would completely supplant him as Batman's main antagonist, the big bad penguin that we all know from the comics, that we all know from Batman lore for the last 100 years, 80 whatever years, that we know that penguin would be the big bad of all of it. There's no going back from that. That's something you don't return, right? There's nothing there to redeem Penguin. And that's something we have to remember when we watch this show is these are unredeemable characters. They did that with Sophia already. Now it's Oz's turn. It's Oz's turn. Sophia killed her family. Now Penguin kills his family. I don't think he's going to kill his mom, but Vic is the one he go he's going to kill. Victor is the guy that he's going to come down on. And when he does that, he completes his villain story. Not the hero journey. It's the villain journey in this case. And that's the last like test that he has to, that he has to go through. His quest of Gotham dominance is get rid of Vic. Get rid of this red hand man. Get rid of the guy who knows all of his weaknesses. You get rid of Vic and you do that. How, we, how you know, whether or not the, the squid thing plays into it, I don't know. But I think at this point, I do believe that Penguin is going to off Vic. And that's going to be the crown jewel of, of Penguin's moment. That's going to be his rise to power. Everyone's going to see you know, see that he is the big bad. And that's the Jason Todd moment. It's a reverse Jason Todd moment almost, right? It's the villain Jason Todd. In the hero Jason Todd, the villain kills Jason Todd. But in a villain world, he's the one that would do it. Joker killed Bob. He was his number one guy. You are my number one guy. 80s, 80s bad guys always killed one of their own. And unfortunately, I'm starting to go down this path that Penguin's going to kill one of his own. And it's going to be Victor. And none of us are going to like it. None of us are going to like it at all. Please, oh, please Jesus, don't take a breath. I'm going to have more Penguin videos on the days, weeks to come. I love this show. Love talking about it. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments down below. I can't wait to read them. 
We're getting gold rush. There's a gold rush coming in a couple of days. Thanks everybody for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe. It's gonna change the face of the whole city. <laughs>